What are antibiotic residues? So this is a term that generally applies to finding traces of an antibiotic in a food product. It's uh, used in other areas of manufacturing for traces of this or that, but when we're talking about food, we're talking about tiny traces of the antibiotic being found in the food. So how do we try to prevent this? It's really a, a very long process. If you think about when a pharmaceutical company wants to get a product licensed, how do they do that? Well, they get it licensed through the Federal Drug Administration, which we call FDA. And they go through a period of finding out everything they can find out about this antibiotic, and all that information is given to the FDA before they get a license. They have to know one particular thing is what happens to the antibiotic after you give it to the animal. What tissues does it go into? How long does it stay in those tissues? How does the animal get rid of it? Does it come out through the skin? Does it come out through the urine? Does it come out through the feces? This all has to be very, very well defined. If you're thinking about an antibiotic for laying hens, you have to know where that antibiotic goes into the eggs. Does it produce residues in the eggs? If it does, it won't be licensed for, for hens, laying eggs for human consumption. If you're gonna try to get a license for an antibiotic, say to feed the broilers like we have here on this farm, you have to know what happens to that antibiotic after you give it to the broiler. How long does it take for the broiler to get completely rid of that antibiotic so that there are no residues? Once you know that, then the FDA establishes something called the withdrawal period, which is a kind of a complicated term. But what that means is how long does it take from the time we give the antibiotic to the bird until there's no residue in the tissue. And then that's what we call the withdrawal period. So if the withdrawal period is five days, for example, you have to stop giving that antibiotic within five days of slaughter. If you do that, there'll be no residues. So during this whole process then of the pharmaceutical company getting a license, all this is very established. Once the, the license is there, it says on the label of the product what animal you can give it to and how long it has to be withdrawn. It also tells you what animals you can't give it to. If it's not, if it produces residues in eggs, it'll say on the product, cannot give to hens laying eggs for human consumption. This whole process is, the authority for this process rests with the FDA, the licensing and the control and the monitoring.